Hey guys, so I wanted to start that series on burnout, okay, and um, that I promised. So I think it will be um, challenging for me. I'll be looking back. And for you, it might be challenging if you're wondering if you um, maybe are on the verge of burnout. Now, I'm not going to give you a scientific um, definition of burnout. I'm really talking here from personal experience. Um, so, you know, what is burnout? What is burnout? I think we each might have different ways that we feel that we know we're like challenged. We're right at that edge of burnout. Um, so for me, I would define it as a state where you feel pretty empty. Empty of energy, okay, because that might sound like that could also be depression, but I'm going to say that burnout, it's like the well is empty. You feel like you've given and given and given as much as you can, and you've, it implies you've pushed past what was appropriate for you to be able to give. So um, you might know that you're feeling burned out and that you're suffering from it when you feel physically exhausted okay so obviously some of this is this can overlap into other syndromes and other things but you will generally feel physically exhausted but even more almost psychically or energetically exhausted like you just don't have any more to give okay and i'm also specifically thinking of from work burnout but there can be many causes of of that right of burnout um, from like if you have a lot of kids or if you're a single parent and you maybe only have one child but so there are a lot of things that can cause burnout but how to know you're suffering from it often your sleep starts suffering um, and maybe I'll talk more about each one but your sleep starts suffering you really feel a lack of energy um, there's a sense of dryness so some of the stuff I'm mixing in spiritual and with with like physical but by dryness it typically one of the symptoms i think i mentioned this in another video is literally dry eyes let's see these commercials about dry eyes dry eyes you guys in traditional chinese medicine implies a liver on overdrive what that means is the liver is the liver gallbladder nexus are the meridians in traditional chinese medicine that have to do with our willpower and our drive right that push us forward or pull us forward so when you're burnt out you're drawing on that energy a lot and as that starts to get depleted and stressed the liver gallbladder is connected with the eyes and so and tears and so when we start to get very very dry eyes that literally indicates you're overusing your um, you might be overusing your drive that aspect of your personality so that's what I found so I just wanted to start the series about burnout so let's just start with a brief centering, though, sort of going from the mental into dropping into presence. So please listen to this where you can pause, where you can come to a comfortable position. Let me give you a moment to do that. Pull your spine up nice and tall and feel that the heart center is open. The shoulders are down. You have an open, relaxed posture not caving in on yourself, but open heart, shoulders relaxed. And just feel your own presence. The easiest ways to do that and quickly are feel your feet, feel wherever there's contact with support like the buttocks, the thighs if you're sitting, the feet if you're standing, you may just really tune into the feet. And then the breath. Feel that nice, deep breath, that life force coming in through the nose, expanding your ribs, expanding your torso, and filling you with life, light, and energy. So really coming into presence. So you, this is something that will be very personal to you. You have to know and be honest with yourself if you're on the edge of burnout, okay? Um, so my story when I was on the edge of burnout, it, it's very hard to see. 
<laughs> because you're going so hard, you're like trying to keep up. You're like a little hamster on a wheel. Okay, these are again continuing of how do I know if I'm nearing burnout? You're like a hamster on a wheel. You're just running, 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 running to keep up with whatever this goal or idea that you have in your mind is. Now, you may say, well, that's coming from outside me, and that's absolutely true. It may be as well. Um, in my case, it was colleagues in academia and the standards to uh, be eligible for tenure. So it may come from outside you, yes, but then, as always, we're in co-creation. So how do we do that dance where there are outside forces and then there's our inner world and our needs, okay? And so that's really the question. So I invite you to stay open and stay open, stay open, stay open, because when you're in the midst of burnout, it's very hard to see that there's a way out, okay? When you're in the midst of burnout, it's very hard to see that there is a way out of it. It's like an airplane, really, I mean, it's a terrible analogy, but it's like an airplane going down. There is someone at the controls, okay? It's about, can we wake up that inner being who's at the controls and take back control? And rather than having it be just outside forces. So I know that can be very difficult to hear if you are currently really in the midst of it, because I remember from my experience, okay, so you know you might be suffering from burnout when this starts to resonate with you, you feel like you're running endlessly and you're not keeping up, you don't feel that you're um, showing up in the way that you'd like. Like in my case, um, what happened was I felt like, you know, I was doing as much as I can and I would go home and I would continue to work. So it, it, it also touches into work, work, a workaholism, right? So you keep going and going and going. I mean, that's when we literally have a certain amount of fuel, again, and holistic understanding. Ayurveda coming from India and other holistic um, um, methodologies like traditional Chinese medicine that have been tested for thousands of years. And even in the West, they'll say, you know, somebody has exhaustion, right? You hear of a star who just collapsed from exhaustion. They've pushed themselves too far. So we all have a limit. It's like we're, we're filled up at birth. We have a certain amount of energy. And as we go through life, we're drawing on that energy. And unless we replenish it, and there are very specific ways to replenish it, it's a process of literally withdrawing taking away, taking away, taking away, and that's when we start to see aging, okay, which does happen, right? We're using up that, that life force, that chi that we were born with. And so when you're nearing burnout, you're literally like burning the candle at both ends. You're burning through your storehouse of chi very, very quickly and you're reaching the bottom. And so if, it, if you think of it as like a pot that had something boiling in it, you're just like, you're getting to scorching. There's nothing there. That's why I mentioned that quality of dryness. I felt it. It's, it's like you just, you're almost like a dry branch. that just could snap, okay? So I encourage you to maybe journal about, you know, ask yourself the question, um, am I feeling burnt out? And how, how would I know that? How do I know that? And just spend 10 or 15 minutes writing in a journal, or if you just want to speak, like recording how or what makes you think that you might be nearing burnout. What are the signs? What are your signs? What are your symptoms? For instance, for you, it may be one of your symptoms may be that you're not cooking as much. You're just grabbing food on the go, right? And you're grabbing food you wouldn't even typically eat, but you're just grabbing it because you're just so focused on this goal you feel you have to meet. So the definition of burnout is a sense of running to meet a goal or expectation and feeling you're not accomplishing it, but you're giving your all and you're feeling more and more tired and more and more exhausted. So I'm gonna leave it there. As I said, do uh, do some journaling and see for you, look at your life and, and say, is this, you know, what are some signs that I'm not, uh, not happy and that I'm nearing burnout from pushing myself, from that overdrive, 
okay? Because of course, like I said, there are different syndromes that cross into this and they can overlap, like depression, like anxiety or whatever. But when I talk about burnout, it usually comes from that, that, that ultra focus. And I feel, especially for women, um, it's been, this is getting to the peak of it. We're trying to accomplish as much as we can. Often we're doing the childcare as well nurturing friends and so on and family tends to fall more on women's shoulders and we're also doing work job career so it's not even about work-life balance it's you know <laughs> it is about balance can can we balance it can you balance what your expectations are for yourself and do you have to um, are these expectations supportive or, of you or not so anyway, so spend some time journaling. Um, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Um, if you'd like to know more about what I do, and I do mentor women on practices that will help them get back in touch with themselves, with their spirit, and with what their true desires are for their life. So if you'd like to know more about what I do, head on over to intheflowofmagic.com. And I will have at least two more videos in this series just on burnout. But the first thing is to ask yourself, do I feel like I am nearing burnout or have I, do I know that I have reached a point of burnout? All right. Namaste. Be well. Bye-bye.